I did it. I looked up what to do. And I was able to do it in a way that gave me no additional information other than exactly what I needed to know. And uh, after having done it, I gotta tell you, I'm glad I did. I would not have figured this out. I had no clue. So we're gonna need another piece of ice. Now, we can go on here, and we can open it. But we don't want to do that yet. We actually want this to be closed. What we need to do is go on the marble track. And go to the ice factory. And open the chute. The lower chute. Through the marble track. Across the ice field. To the factory. In the factory. Around the corner. Up the stairs. Lower chute opened. Maybe there's enough hints. Maybe I should have put gamer glasses on. But in a world where we are a keeper and we are maintaining actual equipment, jumping on a slab of ice with nothing to hang on to seems like an OSHA violation. I'm just saying. Back up the elevator. Back in to the marble. <laughs> Around the cliff. And here we are. Make use of appropriate equipage before descending on ice block. That was the gameplay hint that I read and misinterpreted. I'm pretty sure when I first saw that, I thought about the ice block descending, not me descending with the ice block. And this is the only clip of the little video that I saw. I saw the gentleman step onto the ice block. I'm like, oh, really? Really? <sighs> you know, at this speed, it feels quite safe. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, buddy. This also feels quite safe. But it's not what I imagined. It would be like a giant cube of ice dropping down. Oh boy. We did it. We solved the puzzle. We have become puzzle masters. Uh, you know, in every other situation, I haven't been allowed to just drop down. Ah, that makes more sense. Let's just line ourselves up. Look at that. It's like it was made for it. Oh boy. Now, what do you do? Process. What does that do? Oh, 
Oh, it fills those things with ice. Now we got some snowballs moving around. Now I can uh, run across this crane. because I blocked it. I'm trying to understand what I'm... Okay, I'm moving the, the upper part. Blocked. This doesn't attach anywhere. But then... This side can also move. Let's go to the very end. Hey. Hey. And we get to over there. I guess this is just so we can kind of see what's going on. Blocked. Is a claw filled with something? Maybe it's filled with nothing. It seems like this crane is... It's on two pivot points. So I think if I keep going back and forth and rotating it, I might be able to get it to point to somewhere else. Which will hopefully just let me unlock some things. Yeah, I don't actually fully understand the mechanics of what I'm doing. Oh, there's other things I can do. Well, that's... That's all sorts of different. but it goes behind. I see. And then... That's fully backwards. Let's go take a look at what that's done. That's extended it this way. So if I could rotate it. Oh. I guess I gotta rotate the whole thing. But maybe now I, I have more swing room. see what that's done. I don't know exactly where I'd want this to line up. If it would let me just jump down, <laughs> then I'd be fine. Let's see if I can just... Uh, blocked. 
Always blocked. Let's check the other one. Ah, I see. We're blocked on the ice. Left. Left, left. Oh, I think I broke the ice. I think I heard an ice breaking noise. I don't know if that's true. I wonder if that means I could use this to break the ice up there. Now, right now, I'm just trying to get. Uh. UW lower. Will that connect? Will that work? I don't think it will. I feel like it's gotta be. Perfecto. Or to. Uh, oh, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, well, what's over here? The ice. The ice block is over here. Alright, so normally I'd be able to just kind of walk over here, but now I can't because of that thing. And this lets me go in here. But it also lets me open this door. So now I have a different way to go we back and forth. Alright. Good. This is looking promising. Big industrial elevators typically come right before I unlock another option for my device. Which is what we need. We need the extendo. down here in the lower area. Surrounded by all the machinery. Do wonder if I'm supposed to just like crash into the ice <laughs> uh, with that crane. It's not quite a crane, but it's sort of a crane and I don't have a better name for it. That area looks cool. This area looks cool. Which one do we want to go to first? I don't know. I imagine your journey, your questions. Yeah? It makes me laugh and weak. Your veil process. Do you ever have the answers? I don't know. You tell me. You're supposed to be training me, I thought. Let's see. Oh, this is the what you're supposed to do list. I already know my list. Check for rust. Check. There's rust. Perfect. Ooh, that looks dangerous. See, here I wouldn't assume that a red light means no power. Here I would assume a red light means it's, uh... dangerous but it doesn't work so I think it does mean at least right now it means no power cathode fault okay old transport fault cathode fault all right we need get the coal transporting again and we need to fix the cathode. The only thing I know called cathode is cathode ray tube, CRT, from the old televisions. So it's, it's like a laser. It says, no, you can't be in those places. No steam. Vestibule hatch cannot open because there is no steam. Steam sounds like something that would be produced from this thing. This thing wants to watch an old television. It's getting the snow. Well, that's good. It's getting the ice. Oh, but it's not getting anything from this side. 
maybe that's where we need to go. Maybe we need to be somewhere over here. Hopefully this thing already has blocks of ice. <laughs> lift. I think that means it's already here. Oh, good. Then on. Coal transport. Let's see the coal. Any moment. Now, there it is. There we go. Good job. We did it. We got the coal going, we got the snow going, so the machine can be heated, and the machine can be cooled. Now we just gotta get uh, the electrodes.